two, Trap one win away from that winner's match. Up here in the top left, in the red, the Terran player, he's down 0-1. Samsung Galaxy Khan Reality. I wonder if he wanted his name to be Realty. I don't think so. <laughs> or think about that. All right, down here at the bottom left in the blue, Broadhouse player. Trap. Not on Team Salmon. No. We could invite him. I don't think he would accept, though. Yeah. Fortunately. Just don't know if I if I have enough money to pay the money he deserves, man. Yeah. The guy's expensive. So, uh, this map, I mean, if you look at it, you can see kind of what I was talking about. It's a little blocky. It looks like it's made out of Legos or something. But the unique attribute of this map is the backdoor expansion that you could take. And that's why we're probably going to see um, a very early expand here from our Terran. Uh, he's not made any gas, he's not sending any SUVs to make a barracks, so looks like we're going to see a CC first. Trap on the other hand plays a little bit more conservatively. Notice that last time these two played against each other, Trap did win 2-1. This was in 2013's Season 3, the round of 32. Interesting they meet in the next Season 3 once yeah. again. About a year later, these two battle. I do not believe these two ever met in Pro League. I'm not 100% sure. I don't recall a game between these two now. We saw a really cool build on this map yesterday during a PVT. I mean, all of them were PVTs, but during one of the PVTs, I think it was Myungshi, he blocked the ramp with the forge and some cannons and did not let the, the Reaper in. Really cool build. Yeah. So, let's take a look at what these builds end up coming into. We actually see a fast transition to gas. Look at this. Probe is hiding. Don't be don't be scared. Probe not to hide. We all see you anyways. Pile on. What's uh, it gonna what be, Trap? I think it might be a Stargate. I think it's gonna be a Stargate. It's just like a gamble. He's hoping his opponent's gonna be on the right side of the map. Unfortunately he's wrong. Just because it's so set in between like this, that's why I feel it's Stargate. It's like perfectly in the middle, and yeah. Well, he guesses wrong, it's but... It's still going to be hidden. I mean... This may make uh, reality freak out and be like, oh, he's going going to do blank again. You know, I got to get ready. These bunkers up and stuff, but... Yeah. He's in that base. He's like, where is your tech? Where is your third pylon, you know? Yeah. And, and why... Did he even check the Nexus? I'm not sure if he did. He might have just assumed there's a Nexus there, but that timing didn't really make... wouldn't make sense, so... Probably thinking, yo, you're just going to drop your Nexus. I know what's going on here. Build is normal. The Stargate is canceled. He canceled wow. it. That is strange. I guess he's like, he saw the SUV and he was like, oh, you're not on this side of the map. I'm not doing this. But that's like actually, that's some minerals wasted. I, it's not the worst thing in the, in the world, but it's definitely a bit of a problem in your build. And he's not even going to get the scout off. Oh, did I speak too soon? <laughs> Second Marine's going to deny. Yeah. And he knows he's just going to back off. Does save the probe, funnily enough. So the robo a little bit late here uh, because of that Stargate cancel, but I actually don't fault him for canceling this. It's a good decision based on what he's, you know, what he learned about that SCB scout. Yeah. If nothing, it might make reality freak out a little bit as well. Expecting coming his way, something coming his way, but maybe nothing at all is going to come his way. Yeah, this is true. He's making a turret somewhere. It's just finished. It looks like in the mineral line of his natural. Yeah, he's got a widow mine on the way. He might even keep that at his uh, refinery for a second in that old hidden pocket. He also could go for a fast drop because he did go into gas really quickly after uh, after he got that CC up. It's a bit too slow, though, with the robotics timing though, to punish anything. It was obviously going to be detection, and the observer on its route will actually see the drop on its way down, unless he takes like, a weird path. Watchtower on this map is kind of funny, to point this out to you guys again. It's got these little pathways shaped in an X, so it favors holding the tower with a melee unit, um, so that the melee unit can actually you know, fight multiple other melee units. Um, it's not favored, I guess, suppose, with, uh, if you're fighting with a range unit, you'll be able to pick it off. It's stuck in this little hole, but 
It's an interesting tower. It doesn't also show you a whole lot, because there's several different other pathways to walk down the map yeah. instead of straight in the middle. It's more important at cross spawns, especially, than at these spawn locations. Yeah, very true. And like you said, the Observer catches that medevac right as it's coming his way. He should be able to stop this. Scan comes down. He doesn't have a second Observer, though. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I mean, it's like right there. I mean, everything says the contrary. It's like, no, 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 Wolf, it's absolutely there. It's like right there on the front of you on the screen. It's also on the unit tab in case you can't see that. I'm like, oh, okay. And he's making a third one as well. Yeah, that's why I got confused. I think. Uh, see a reactor on this factory, probably for the second barracks, but he might actually make some more Widow Mines. We've seen a lot more Widow Mine play recently, obviously, with the buff. Raven on the way. That's well, going to be pretty handy for multiple reasons. Saving them from using scans to stop additional observers. And also help assist the drop with PDD. Also just help out straight up in the fight with PDD. Even auto turrets, not too bad. Yeah. Your opponent, your Protoss opponent, goes a lot of stalkers. Could be pretty good in that fight with the PDD. See, like, Twilight Council is coming down. The plus one armor is coming up on that force that was just made as well. All right, let's see what he does with the reactor. I'm just going to give it to the starport. We'll be able to start combat shields with that second tech lab on the barracks, as well as more marauders. The factory so far has just been a reactor maker. Yes. I mean, it did make those wooden lines earlier on, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's good to make use of your factory. Factory, uh, until the Widow Mines actually came into existence, something we almost never saw use of in this matchup. Yeah. Especially, it was always a scouting building yeah. or, or the reactor maker, you know. But once we got past that Siege Tank Banshee, uh, you know, sort of nonsense. Yeah, there's <laughs> sort of things that we saw a lot. There's tiny pushes that killed on the ladder a lot. Uh, once we got past that stage, we just never really saw a factory being used except as a scout. Uh, now people are figuring out, you know, it's pretty useful to keep that back at home and... Um, just drop down uh, those add-ons. Use it for something. So you can have those ready. It's going to be a Colossus drop. No. Zelda yeah. drop. Very interesting what Travis decided to do on this map. He made one Colossus, then he went straight into Storm. Yeah, it's the one Colossus to Storm build that we saw players like uh, Creator using a lot, and Wings of Liberty, and also going to the heart of the swarm. That medevac, way too much energy to get close to those high tempo. It would have been one shot by the feedback. He's like gonna send it over to his Marines and like stim them a few times so he can fly back in. <laughs> uh, turret here, a good thought, obviously. As oh, here we go, there's the medevac. And stops the turret from being made. Forces the stem as well, but not gonna be uh, coming back anytime soon, I don't think. Oh, he actually may intercept this. He's looking to. He's bringing that army back. Not quite able to get it. He's stemming for it, actually. A big stem. He wants that war prism so badly. He may also be, again, thinking about what like I was saying earlier about the feedbacks. It's like, well, I don't really need... Do I really need 200 energy on my medevacs? Probably not. Do you want to do some dropping? This game is pretty even. Obviously, uh, Reality has made a massive army. His army supply is 23 up right now. But that's going to you know, change in a minute here as the tech has sort of solidified itself for Trap. He's going to start making these big you know, six supply units, these Colossi. He's even making an Immortal right now. Um, as he's switching into mostly Storm Immortal. That's built. You've seen Ruin do so much. Uh, and it's just, I mean, Protoss units take up a lot of supply. Once you finally get your economy at a good place, get your gateways powered up, you do catch up an army supply quite quickly. And your army is usually better for the uh, for the cost and for how much supply it takes up. So even a 74 supply Protoss army can beat over 100 supply with the Terran army with good force fields, good hits on the AOE, good storms, for example. Raven has partnered with that medevac. See a bunch of units loaded up in a couple medevacs looking to drop at that natural. Something you could do on this map, especially in this these positions uh, against a Protoss, just drop in the back. He's going to have to keep some of his units back. Well, Raven. Feedback it, he does. Free Raven. Pretty delicious there. Yeah, this army is cut up here, but he's going towards that natural. Like you said, only one cannon here, two cannons, and a storm. Storm is enough, though. It doesn't look like it. He's going to have to warp in a bunch of stuff. Oh! Ouch! I didn't even see that with a mine in there. Two shots go down. He's doing a lot with his army in the middle of the map, but his, uh, his base is still under attack. 
Nexus Cannon doing some work. Let's let's get a shot of that. Yeah. Immortal even helping out here, but it's not quite enough. He needs more warp ins. This may actually become an elimination race. It's looking like it. He's going straight into the Terran piece. Okay. Going right in there. He's right on the production right now. It's going to be hard for Reality to make much more units out of these barracks and stuff. Does he have a War Prism? Yes. He still has a War Prism. And I don't know if he's been able to get any probes out. He would love to get some of these out right now. Not lose them all to Widow Mines. So many storms left on these High Templar. If the rest of the army decides to come home, I think that's what he's saving those for. Oh, nice. Oh. Getting so many Widow Mines here. He is going to burrow them. Don't get a shot of that, but... The rest of this Terran army is not doing much back in the base of reality. I feel like Drive is getting a much better trade here. He's going to be able to eventually clean up what's happening in his main base, but yep. he's, he's camping all the production here at reality's base. Yeah, he just eventually got enough stuff back at home. That Nexus Cannon's so useful for this, and I feel like reality just was worried more about his base, wasn't micring all of his units at the base uh, of his opponent very well, and that really hurt him. I think this is just going to be it. He's lost all but one CC now. So he can fly that away, but he's got just like, very few units. His army supply is 30, but he's got nine medivacs. That's and two widow mines. That is his army. <laughs> it's not going to be able to kill anything, I'm afraid. It's getting feedback right now as well. He's going to have to turn his uh, medivac mode into, you know, from heal into damage somehow. Reality's having some trouble leaving this game. GG. Both games at the end, he scanned to get some additional information about his opponent. Um, because sometimes you do actually rematch your opponent in these uh, in that final match, so... Well, we have uh, Trap advancing to the winner's match now, and Reality taking a tough 2-0 loss there. Trap looking very, very good. And you know what that means, Wolf. More PVT! More PVT, man. At least two more. At least two more. We may not see any TVT tonight. Which is really sad. <laughs> But yeah, Mara versus Trap, an iconic matchup. We've seen it a lot before. And uh, this is going to be an exciting one. Two top tier Casper uh, players from Pro League playing against each other to decide which one is going to Codest first. We're going to have that after a quick commercial.